Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. The famous words are, let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by today, Greg's Beer Review. Today could be a treat. This is Terrapin's Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout, which is a stout with coffee added. This is a, an Imperial. It's an American Double Imperial Stout coming in at 8.10% ABV. Rather heavy beer, so... Uh, final beer of the evening, we're going we're gonna to check this out and see what we got. Uh, this beer can be cellared. Uh, I've probably had this beer uh, six months, eight months. Uh, this is best enjoyed before, and it says Vintage 09. So, this is 09's uh, edition of it. So, uh, it's been in the fridge for a while. So, I've been saving this for special occasions. So, we're going to bust a cap on it here shortly, and we're going to see what it's all about. Uh, this beer is brewed. Uh, uh, with Jittery Joe's Coffee out of Athens, Georgia. So they've come up with a little conglomeration with him and they offer this type of coffee in their shops there. So uh, should be a pretty pleasing beer. It's got a lot of high marks. So without me flapping my gums any further, let's get the cap off of it. The, uh, the glass is usually the pint glass they call for this or the snifter or the wine glass. And I've got the duvet out because I like it for the stout, especially the imperial stouts. I like to use uh, uh, some kind of glass like this, a stepper style. So let's get it in the glass. Oh, it pours a very dark, almost motor oil looking color. Yes, it definitely looks like a 60 weight. <laughs> looks like the oil in my motorcycle. Alright, very dark color, about a, uh, about a half finger head, not three quarter finger of a head. Uh, not a light, a lot of light through that beer whatsoever. Very, very dark beer. You can't see any bubbles coming up from the bottom. Looks like a stout. Looks like an imperial stout. Let's get a nose on it. Wow. A lot of coffee. I mean, if you're a coffee drinker, you're probably going to love this. I don't drink a lot of coffee. I'd have a couple cups in the morning, and uh, that does me. I don't drink any more during the day. Wow, that has got an incredible smell. 8.1% ABV. Pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy beer. 8.1. Be careful with this one. Drink it at home. If you drink two of these and try to drive, you might meet the man. Let's see what we got. A little bit of alcohol in the taste. A lot of coffee. Chocolate. A lot of, a lot of caramel malts. A lot of, uh, a lot, maybe even some black malts. I'm not sure exactly what malts they use in this. Uh, the coffee. With the coffee added, you're going to get that. You're going to get that burnt or coffee or or caramel taste. So, wow. This is a sipping beer. This is not a chugging beer. Very pleasant. Nice coffee aroma. Well, I'm going to sip on this a little bit, so stick around and see what we get when we get to the bottom of it. Alright guys, thanks for coming back. Got just a little left in the glass. I've been sipping on it here about 30 minutes or so. I'm going to let it warm up. Wow. This is incredible. This is definitely an above average beer. Just a little strong on the alcohol smell, but everything is there. The oatmeal, the coffee. The, the caramel, the, the roasted malt. Not so much chocolate as it's coffee. Break Beer gives us a 99 overall and an 84 in the style.
I may, I may, I may have those backwards. I, I believe uh, that's what they give it, but I believe I would get, I would switch those around. I, I believe this is a winner, so I've been stepping on it for a while. Let me do the final chug. Oh man, that is so good. Wow. Uh, guys. I can't, rem I can't recommend this more highly. Uh, this is an excellent imperial oatmeal stout. So uh, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think of it. On the scale today, out of the 1 to 10 scale that I'm using now, this is definitely a 9. It's very close to 10. Uh, last beer of the evening, very good sipper beer. Uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a good beer. I think you'll like it if you like a stout. Be careful, this is 8.1%, pretty strong beer, so I might have just a slight buzz, so with that being said, uh, give me the comments and, and subscribe and rate and let me know what you think of it and we'll catch you on our next beer review. Come on back.